Ah, how are we all doing? Hope everyone's keeping well out there as usual. Um, everyone knows what this is. Well, anyone that's into tallies do. It's a Philips GA, and uh, I think it's the last incarnation of the GA. Um, it's floating around here a while ago. Um, it came out with a skip, and it should have been left in the skip. But uh, primarily, why you got it was the bulb. I want to see if the CRT is any use. I have a Bush 26 inch Bush AA23. A, B, or whatever they were called, the one of the last um, AA23 variants, and it has a very weak tube in it. So that's what that's gonna be. This is gonna be scrapped. Um, I'd be very surprised if it works. Um, the GA has a terrible reputation for line output transformers, more so now than ever, but they were known for bad transformers back in the day. Um, they had problem with the insulation um, between the windings and they used to sort of fail every sort of two to three years. Though Philips were aware of this problem and they made the replacement line output transformers at a very, at a very reasonable price. They were very cheap indeed so it wasn't so much of an issue back then for the trade because um, they, they, they knew it was a problem and they gave um, very cheap uh, replacements uh, made them available. So we're going to have a look at it. I'm going to see how the old chill tester performs with its new meter um, and we'll try it for the crack to see does it work but I'd be very surprised if it does um, it wasn't the rain for a while and we can see that um, the chipboard is uh, blowing up in spots it has uh, a good bit of woodworm it's obviously lived in a shed uh, for a considerable amount of time um, the screws on the back are rusty and um, it's gotten hopped about a bit, as they say. It's badged as a Sierra. Well, it has a Sierra badge on it and Philips, so that's that's unusual. Sierra was a sort of an ex-party um, brand name that Philips used. So it has a Sierra badge on it, which I haven't seen before, but uh, maybe it's an Irish thing or something. It is an Irish set, insofar as it has a VHF tuner in it as well, and it has RT1 and 2 on the tuner buttons. On the flappy panel tuner button unit that um, was so loved by all the television engineers back in the day. So we'll see what you want RT2, BBC1, BBC2, ITV1 and one day we'll get an ITV2. But, um, which was Channel 4. So there we are. Um, has all the knobs in place. Um, I wonder all a bit. I think the plastic goes funny on this. Welcome back. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's broken. Um, as you can see there, the, the cabinet's in a bit of a stay. It's got an, a lump knocked out of it there on the side. And I know G8s are um, sought after now and people love them. Well, I'm not so keen on them um, because of the line output transformer issue. Um, there's still line output transformers out there, but they're very expensive. Um, um, as regards a set, I had one of these. I got one of these maybe, let me see, back in 2008. And the line output transformer was gone in it. It was a nice cosmetic nick with a strong CRT in it. And waited for a long time, probably it sat in the toilet in John's TV shop on its side. For probably two years. And John got talking to a chap who worked for a crowd called Irish Television. Um, what was the name? Irish TV Rentals. And they had a, a fleet of G8, G8s out at one time. John just happened to ask him, would you have a line out with Transformer for a G8? And uh, he said, yeah, I have some G8 stuff up in the attic that I kept. So sure enough he did. And it was a Koenig replacement. Um line output transformer or not a conic is it um i'm getting mixed up now i think it is conic anyway um it looked like a far more substantial line output transformer so we stuck her into it and um that was my daily set for probably two years and um the line output transformer went again in it and Took the television out of service for a while. Um, 
got another G8 that was smashed on bits, a 22 inch one. And we put um, the transformer, happened to be good in that one. Put that into it. Got it going again. Went for six months. That transformer went. And I just I gave up then. So I actually... I scrapped it and I took the tube out of it and I put the tube into a Pi 697. So that was the end of me and G8. So I don't really want another G8 after all that. But I do acknowledge the loop. They've got a good picture on them when they're walking right and whatever. They're, that one was very good. But no doubt the transformers are the problem. This thing's full of woodworm as well. Well, full I don't know, but there's a good few fly holes on the front of it there. Cabinets burst open, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so you'd want to be uh, really keen to have a go at this, and I am not. So anyway, we'll turn it around and get them back. I'll tell you one thing: it's a while since I've carried a, a twenty-six inch um, color down to golden set, and um, you kind of forget how heavy they are. They are incredibly heavy. Um, so you can imagine landing on a block of flats out in Ballymun or somewhere and the lift is out of order some old there wants this uh, on the 26th floor you know <laughs> you're going up the stairs wouldn't be good I wonder if the screws are rusty but they should come out you know if I the screws in it yeah the screws are in it that's unusual and are the right screws too <clears throat> very tight really rusty so this obviously lived in a damp shed for many many years and it's filthy dirty covered in cobwebs and it'd be interesting to see how clean or not clean it is on the inside She's a bit manky, alright. Or the smell of damp. You know that dank, damp smell that you get? Well, this is stinking. It is stinking. Let's get the, the light in here. My transformer is in it. I thought it might have the, the county one or a different one in it. Um. <laughs> uh, ooh, lovely. She's probably out of service a while. Or I see, there's one um, one screw holding the tripler on, and um, the focus wire is disconnected for some reason. That doesn't bode well. So is it the tripler or is it the um, is it the tripler or is it the locked? Because I think the tripper used to go sometimes and kill the line output transformer as well. As the line output transformer was falling over without any help. Um, A bit manky, all right. Uh, <laughs> some pile of crap and getting out of it. Let's get the cover off there and have a, a look at the line output section. Yeah, so why is the focus wire off? I might have just fallen off since there. Um, why is that off and why is the trip around? Well. The tripler only having one screw in it. Doesn't really bother me too much. I wonder is it the right tripler that's in it? Because you know what? The holes don't line up at the other end. It's probably a universal tripler. Perhaps. So might have been just left with one um hanging that way. Uh, the 
9 output transformer is definitely being replaced at some stage. You can see the soldering there on that. Um, this panel comes out. I'm just trying to remember how we do this. There's a bit of a look at this. Now, one of the things with these, and if you have one of these, and I don't mean to be preaching to the choir, obviously, anyone who's watching this probably knows, but a few of these that are still in service. These are the, the nine tuning caps. You have to change these. And it happened on my one as well. And I just happened to cop it. Um, the conversion kind of drifted after the four, six months or whatever. I whipped the back off to do it. And the ends were coming off the caps. And if they go open, the EHD flies up and she can crack the. She can arc from the anode cap of the tube down to the neck, burst a hole in the tube, and then. It's game over. So replace these. Um, just as a matter of course. If you're getting one of these going again. Now having a look at this line output transformer. To see. If it has a little black hole in it. Because that's what they used to do. They used to burn a little hole. A little tiny dot through them. And I don't see one. So. I don't know. Now this has been in the dry for a while. Probably two months. Although there's still a stinking smell of damp over. But um, I'm going to get the hairdryer on it for maybe half an hour. Just to make sure it's dry. Just on the off chance that it is a good lot. Because um, you say I'm not keeping this separate. You know, Someone will definitely want the line output transformer. So we'll leave it there for a while. Right, we'll leave that there to heat up for a while. And uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea. While that's doing that, um, heating up the old line output transformer, I've hooked up the old uh, Koenig CRT tester here. So I have the buttons for the three guns out and the G1 voltage backed off all the way. So we just have the heaters on. So we leave it in that state um, for half an hour or so when I go to get the tea. Okay, so that's, I don't know how long I was in the house, probably half an hour, 40 minutes. I had a cup of tea in the house and I have another one here. So tell me this, are you a, a bag in or a bag out person? I'm sort of a bag in for a while and then I pull it out. But, um, yeah. That's the story anyway. I love the bit of tea. That's good tea. Right! Um, we'll leave that there then when it's thing and we'll have a look at the tube tester now and see what the state of play is let's put my finger on the neck of the tube there and it's good and hot um, and we go for the red going first But green looks even better. And there's the blue, and they all seem to be roughly the same. Red's down a bit. That seems to be a fairly strong chill. So we'll go with that. Right, so there's a bit of a mission in the job anyway. I think I did that off camera, did I? <laughs> Sorry. I'll do it again. Let's see how long it takes to come up actually. Let's zoom in there on that. Right, here we are. So that's the red. Green, let's put in the divide. Blue, red, 
En stil gewoon maar nog weer gezegd, hij heet nog een Amber. Green. Blauw. So we're looking, we've a bit of a mission there anyway, for sure. So. What we need to do is, we need to test a known good job. Um, and see how it reads, but um, I think we're looking good there. On that. So, um, okay. We've had the hairdryer on for the 40 or 50 minutes. So I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna put the panel back in and we're gonna I wanna just plug it in and see if it works or not. You know, it's nice and hot now, are we? Leave the um, tripler off for the first shot. So I can leave off the focus as well because that's not going to matter. What I'm going to do is. It's probably set up for 220 volts. Being an Irish set, that's what the um, power used to be here at one time. So it's unified now, 245 I think, or around that. So a lot of the old Irish radios and that are a little bit overrun, but it doesn't really matter all that much. So we're gonna, I'm going to use it with the Verdiac and set the Verdiac to um, 210. I think it might give it a chance. So, no, that'll be too much. Oi, um, down a bit. I'd be very surprised that this walks. However, stranger things have happened. We have a plug, and the plug is on the television. And it's a proper MK plug as well. Uh, switch is off on the front, so we'll plug in. Nothing has exploded yet. It's lashing rain outside here at the minute. Right, well, let's see does our old G8 want to do anything. Let me blow the head off me. Well, there was a short burp and the fuse blew. So, what fuse blew? I've seen a flash. You might have seen that on camera. Yeah, I think you might have captured that. seen a flash coming out on but it looks alright we better check it with the meter um, can you have too many multimeters yeah possibly Alright as well. Where did this I'm sure I've seen a flash. Hmm. That's strange. Let's see him go again.
sitting on the dropper. Wonder did the main skills blow down here? Mains view was at the side blue. So right um blue oh another one at off. Right, new fuel's in. Let's go again. Sounds like there's a dead shark somewhere. Again, right, we'll have to go rooting out the dead short, see what's going on. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not really bothered now to be honest with you, but we'll have a look, see what we can find. Oh, well, you know what it could be? Could be the old uh, cap across the mains. Let's um, we'll check him with the meat. See that he goes short. Oh, I got a better multimeter. He was not bloody thing. Uh, hold on. Okay, so I just went ahead and um, pulled out the power supply. Um, I'm after snipping this. It reads alright though, but you never know. Um, I'm just looking at the, the main smoothing cap though. It doesn't there. Uh, reservoir cap. Or smoother cap, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look too happy, does it? 600 microfarad at 300 volts. I think I have something. It'll be close enough to that. I'm going to bang that in it and we'll try it again. But this time, I'll leave the two plugs out. And we'll just see does it blow the fuse again or not. Then we'll know if the fault is on this. Or if it's something else that's going on. Okay, I'm going to give this another go. I've snipped that cap across the mains. And I've also snipped out the 600. I I know I have a 600 microfarad 300 volt cap somewhere. But um, just where it is, I'm not sure at the minute. But I have uh, me 270 microfarad uh, 450 volt sort of test cap that I... Have on crack blades and uh, I just have him rigged in. So I'm gonna push the button with um, the two plugs out. So it's just the power supply and see what it does. Nothing blew up that time. See if we've any um hundred and fifty volts there. Yeah, 150 volts. I think it should be 200. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm talking to me hat. Because I haven't got the service information to hand. And I, it's that long ago. I can't remember. But. I'll knock it off. And I'll put the plugs in. And we'll see. Yeah, Oui, we'll go again. No fuse blowing this time, but I don't hear anything else going on either. 
you know, Verdiac's making a nice hum, so she's under all. And we've two heaters, so that bit of the power supply is working. Just about see them blowing there. I don't hear any line output stage noises. I think I can hear the line out, is that the frame output stage one? And there's something ticking away. I don't know if it's, the, uh, it's probably the power supply. Well, I've wound up the Verdiac a little bit to 230. But, um. See if there's any uh, voltages on the chair, but I don't hear the line output stage running, so I doubt it. I can smell the dropper burning off though. There's four seven day and that must be an A1. I'm doing something. Oy, I think I should go off and get a bit of service information for myself. I just thought for the crack. Because I can't hear it going. Only the home out of the power supply. I wonder if I'm going to draw an arc off the line up transformer and look. It's running. My ears must be going. So. I'll, I'll show it that uh, the tripler and see does it. Let's see if there's nothing on the screen. Lights and see if I can see anything. We have a very dim frame collapse. So we're doing something. Well, that's a uh, Unbelievable. I wasn't expecting. First of all, the line output transformer is okay so far. And uh, we've a little bit of action. <sighs> this gives me a dilemma. Well, the cabinet's too far gone anyway, but. Um, Someone can make use of the panels, I can make use of the tube. That's a start. I'll tell you what, I'll knock it off. I'll 
I'll knock it off and I'll uh, hook up the focus. Let's see, does it uh, sharpen up a bit? Okay, I hooked up the focus. Switched our back on. We've two lines. We've a green one and a blue one. We've no red one. So we're doing something, that's for sure. What do I do now? We've a bit of a red one there as well, but he doesn't look so healthy. Total frame collapse. There's a service switch on these, I think, but I can't remember. Um, I don't know what to do next. I think I'll leave it there for now. And uh, I'll do a part two on this. Be interesting to see if we can get it going. Um, I'm surprised I've gotten as far as I have with it now to be honest given the condition it's in. Alright, I'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching and I'll bang something else up about this soon. Good luck for now.